I have Tade with me. Bro, 3-1. That's the more like the ask we like to see. Am I right? Yes, you're totally right. Totally right. What yeah. did I tell you? What did you what? tell me? Remind me. Go on. Okay, let me remind you. Let me remind you. Uh, where was Bertrand today? He, he was... Had a he had a yellow card. He got a yellow card. Oh, from I know what you're going to say. Yeah, I know. Where was, where was Kyle Walker, Walker today? Hmm? Yes. Kyle Walker was on the injured. Field. They had yes. to use... Southampton had to use Valerie and... And what's his name? Is he Vorkins or whatever his name is? That, that Vorkins guy... Southampton had to use who? That to use who? They had to use... Is it Valerie? The guy that plays right back. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, they had Valerie, to use yeah, one yeah. Vorkins guy from, you know, from, um, from the left back. That guy is like, what, 20? That's his second appearance in Premier League. Second ever appearance in Premier League. This is what happens, right? When you overstretch these players. This is what happens when you overstretch these players. Injuries or possibility of yellow cards, right? I'm mm -hmm. not taking anything away from the win from Arsenal. We did fantastic because obviously the high, they started with the high press. But I want fans to understand something first before I go into it, right? That the fact that players have been arrested is for a reason. Look at Tony. Tony is not even back. Look at, um, mm -hmm. look at uh, what's his name? Um... Um, uh, what's our, what's this guy's name? Um, Emil Smitro. Emil Smitro now is injured. Hopefully, it's not a serious one. Look at Party. Party had to be taken off. If these guys had played that game in FA Cup, who knows what would have happened? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make people understand. It is so important that people think like managers sometimes, and not just as fans that moan. And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, right? We won this game three one. It was for, honestly speaking at the beginning of the game, right? The game was like an open game. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was mm. a bit scared earlier on. I was scared of Southampton's counter attack because the account, anytime they were countering, it looked very, very dangerous. And I think it's because many of the players were kind of pressing high up the pitch, including Shaka and Pate, pressing high up the pitch and somehow a bit forgetting their defensive duties. So when they're on the counter attack, they looked really, really dangerous. But then mm. again, you have to give credit to the players, to our own players, because we were hungry today. We were pressing high up the pitch. Look how many tackles that um, I miss Mitro was winning. Look how many duels he was winning. Look how he was mm. getting his faces. Today, he did more defensive duties up front than creative mm. duties today, in my opinion. Do you understand what I'm who, saying? Who you saying that was what I miss Mitro did more? I miss yeah. yeah. He did more, he did more defensive duties up, up front than, you know, <laughs> than even going back. Do you understand what I'm saying? So... Mm. What, I'm trying, what I'm trying to say is they put in a lot of effort. So it's very difficult for these players to put in this much effort and, you know, yeah. in, in three days, in two, two games in three days. It's very, very difficult. You know, it's very, very difficult. So listen, I'm just very, very happy. I'm just very, very happy mm. that I won the game. Shaka, I need to give him a shout out. Yeah. I need to give him a shout yeah. out. The first chance he created for Lacazette, Lacazette should be putting that, putting that away. Yes. That was a slicing, slicing true ball. I keep saying it. Those are the kind of passes that I call a pass like a surgical operation. It was slicing through the defense. He did it twice. <laughs> he did, he did it did. twice. Second yeah. one again. The second one again to Pepe. Pepe put that away. Mm -hmm. We have to give a special shout out to uh, what's his name uh, as well. Um, this is our right back that's playing left back. Cedric, yeah. Look at all the... I was tweeting it. Look at the javelin pass this guy was giving. It was like a javelin throw. Those passes, the way they were going to... I think give two of those passes to Shaka. To Saka, not Shaka. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. you have to give respect... And for someone who was playing out of position and was able to deliver those kind of passes, that's just fantastic and impressive. Do you know yeah, what I mean? He's a, I, he's, a good, he's a good player today. I think people don't... I, I, We've said it before, myself and James, he doesn't get enough credit. Um, I know he hasn't played, he didn't play much before and people were just saying, why have we signed him? But every time he's come on, he hasn't really played a bad game. So, yeah, yeah you got to give he, him. He, yeah, he looks um, very, um, he just seems steady. He's not like, yes. he's extra outstanding. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying yeah. he's like outstanding, like, you know, a nine no, over no, 10. He, he, he does his job. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? He does his job. So, but it's still, it, it's still very, very important that we go out there and get a left back if we can. Because it's very yes. obvious we cannot continue with him. Because he has to cut in to give crosses infield. He cannot go out and whip it, you know, from the byline. Because he doesn't have the mm. left foot, you know. I also have to give a special shout out today to Pepe, right? Because Pepe, for me, one thing that frustrates me about Pepe is, is willing, not his willingness, is his resolve to always trying to dribble in every situation. 
Today, I thought he went back to the basics. And I'm thinking maybe Ateta must have had the word with him because one of the reasons he loses the ball a lot is because he tries to dribble in every single situation, which is unnecessary. Yeah. Very right. unnecessary dribbles. Today, I saw so many one-touch passes from him, which I don't see normally. Him, Smith-Rowe, on that, even, even with Cedric, some one mm. quick touch passes, some movements. I don't see that a lot from Pepe. So I think maybe Ateta might have been telling him that, listen, you need to work on your basics. You need to go... What, one thing people don't understand about football, right, is... And I know you know this, right? Mm -hmm. The basics, basics are pretty. Simple football are the prettiest. People don't yeah. understand it. The reason Barcelona dominated for so many years, how many of them go on and be dribbling 18, 14, apart from Messi? There are many players keep it simple. You keep it simple, you get efficiency, you get results. And that's mm. what worked for us today. That's what worked for us today. So, I really... And Luis, I, he had a shaky game. I'm not going to lie. He had a shaky yeah. game. He gave out, he gave, gave, on, gave out some wrong passes sometimes. Look at the calamity he almost caused towards the ending. And I'm not yeah. having a go at him entirely. But I'm just trying to make people understand that this is one of the reasons why I'm just praying Mari comes back. Because ever since Mari has been out, even Gabriel had a shaky game in the last game. Let's be real. Gabriel, it's true. And even before, yeah, even, exactly, even the Everton game, he had a shaky game before he went on the red card and he went on Corona, you know, exile. But the point I'm making, right, is Mari and Holding seems to be the most steady partnership in terms of how steady they are and they're less prone to mistakes. So I'm just hoping that Mari will be able to come back, in my opinion. I'm hoping Mari will be able to come back. Um, do you want to say something? I can see your eyes no, popping up. I was just say, so your, so your strongest pairing for the defence would be Mari and Holding? For me, Is that, yes. Okay, that's fine. I, yes. I, I, I haven't heard, you I haven't heard it. No, I, listen, <laughs> I, I, we have heard it. <laughs> I just like to hear everyone's opinions. I, I, yeah. Well, okay, what, what's your own? What's your own? Tell me what's you. Yeah, think. Mine, what's your own? <laughs> yes. This is just this asking us questions. Is you. No, what mine's, is Gabriel. mine's Gabriel and, and Louise, but listen. Holden's been on. Listen, Holden's had a good game. I, I can't be honest. I can be honest with that. I just, I have question marks on him, but. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, bro. I think that's the only reason I'm going, the only reason I'm going for, for, for Mari is because for me he seems steady. Forget about the mm. fact that um Gabriel had been our best defenders and all that. Before, let's be real, let's be real. He started becoming shaky in the Tottenham game, the Everton game, and then when he came back, the Southampton game, he was shaky mm. in those last three games. Let's be real. And I don't want people to, to get me wrong. I'm not Gabriel. He's a very good defender. He's he he was uh, I think two two months in a, in a running, it was the best or three really? months. Three, yeah, he was three the months. best player in Arsenal, no doubt about it. But we just have to say what has to be said. You know, he had shaky encounters, and maybe that's one of the reasons why he's also been put on the bench. But mm. with, with the way Luis performed today, I doubt if Luis is going to start the next game. I doubt it. I think mm. Gabriel will be coming back in because he had a very, very shaky. I had my heart in my mouth most of the times so it was the you know with on the ball. But listen. I'm a happy fan today. AFTV Picks, the new exclusive free-to-play betting tool app for football fans everywhere. Every week, test your skills and knowledge against Robbie and the AFTV fans and stand to win prizes and cash. And wait for it, it's all free.